Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, first of all, I'm feeling like Steph right now. You feel uh-huh. me? I mean, jeez, he signed a one-year extension oh, for $62.6 million. Shout out to Steph. Come Let's on, just man. keep it a buck. <laughs> hey, he got that check for the step back. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he okay. got that check really? specifically for them three threes yes, that he yes. hit at the oh, end of the yes, game, definitely, dude. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, uh, big shout out to, to Steph. You stay in a warrior pretty much for life unless you come to Los Angeles. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they become a clipper. Yeah, they try. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not a clipper, bro. Don't do that to him. You know what I'm saying? No, he's man, definitely becoming the purple You see dub. the new arena? You see the Intuit yeah, Dome, on, man. man? Hey, it is nice. It's I looking tough in crypto right now. Yes, I will. Oh man, I can't wait to go up in there, man. I seen it. I know you've been up it's in not, there a yeah. few times already, so I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous, Craig. So I might have to go up in there. Don't worry. I I, I, I gotta go that. tomorrow. See? Okay. All right. Good. See. Well, let me clear my schedule. Yeah. Again. <laughs> we got some, yeah, schedule. we got some things to do up in there, Johnny. But. Okay, okay, yeah, because you know you got your jersey up in there, man. How you feeling about that, man? That's, that's hey, like, it's pretty, come on, pretty man. bossy, man. To to have Fairfax, come on, uh, in the building of the the new in, um, stadium in come Los on, Angeles. Come hey, on, man, Craig, you can't make this up. It's a lot of dudes who went to Fairfax, bro. It's a lot of dudes. It's a lot of dudes. Fair, it's a lot but of the rhino, a lot of good dudes went to Fairfax. They too. did. They did. Okay, so you know, but they they chose you, my guy. It's, you know, I was thankful. And plus, like, Mm -hmm. I'm the only one who actually played for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that goes without a doubt. And becoming a fan favorite, um, this is really a humbling experience. Mm -hmm. And something I get to show my son now. You feel me? Right, right, yeah. That's what you're capable of. Definitely, definitely. Hell yeah. Oh, man, they couldn't even see the fist pump. I got this. Yeah, box you got the here. cardboard box. All right, so look, so check it out. Are so we this going is, back? What is this? It's well, not this a flux is, capacitor. Nah, it's, def- it's definitely not the flux <laughs> capacitor. Get it, put, take us back in time somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> However, what we can do is now. This is the. This is it. Okay. All now, right. Tedris here already got these nice drinks, cannabis infused. You know what I'm saying? The elevation. Now they got different flavors. This is the blueberry spritz. Blueberry. Okay. And they got the uh, citrus spritz. Citrus. Okay. Orange. Then we got the strawberry spritz. Scraw, strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. Strawberries. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is now there's three behind this box. Hope you didn't cheat. Okay. Uh, there's three no. behind this box and they're stacked on top of each other. Okay. Now, now the thing is, can you pick which colors, which flavors are stacked on top of each other? Oh, One, two, three. Okay. So you have to choose. You stack yours on that side, and I'm going to stack mine on this side. Right. And the loser, what should we bet? Hey, no, y'all no, let us no, know. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because Johnny did set up the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I, think, yeah. I think both of you guys oh, should like, turn God. around. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because Johnny, you the one who stacked him, buddy. He really tried to get me hey, with that. Hey, I am from the side, y'all. Yeah, yeah that was Damn. real easty. How you going to try to do me like that? What? I'm talking about, can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a stack. <laughs> like, I'm already lost. Already been lost. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> At first, I was thinking too, because in my mind, I was like, well, maybe Manny did it. Uh-huh. But then I was like, nah, <laughs> you did this the whole time. I was watching you. Age 20 oh, in the right. future. Damn. Damn. This is working on a type of cheat code. What happened, bro? You got we got a flat screen TV. You can't see the reflection. Wow, he just brought that to life. Maybe I would have discovered it a little later, but hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay, so this so this is what we do, Craig. So you you stack up yours, I'm you done. Know, stack up mine. Okay. I'm done. Are oh, you done? Okay. So Manny <laughs> Manny will tell us if, if it's correct, okay? Uh, you got to turn yours, Craig. I know. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to go here. Hold on. Here. And so loser drinks all three. Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> okay. So we got loser. What we going to say? We just got uh, push-ups or something. Loser. Okay. 20 push-ups. Loser. 20 push-ups. Bad. Okay. All right. What we got? Did we, we get have... It? So, Craig, you got orange, strawberry, purple, and Johnny, you have orange, purple, strawberry. Uh, Very close. And so, how many both I got? of you have lost. Okay, but, okay, how many do I have any of them correct? That's you in do. Line. You so, have none. Okay. Correct. None correct in the world. Okay. None. What about Craig? Craig has 
One. He got the grape. What? Wait. Uh, you ain't hey, supposed to say what, what it is. We got to match them all up, bro. Nah, dog. I won. No, you didn't win. You got to match them all. You only match one. You got to yeah. match all three. Yeah, but. So if I would have said no. he has one, then do no. I tell him which one he has? No, you just, he got. He has to know which one he may not want to change. Cause he don't know which one is the one. He can say it's it's uh, it's this one, but he changed it and this one is not correct anymore. Okay, you said all of mine are wrong, all so them. I'm going to change all of them. So this one's not going to be here, and I'm going to put <laughs> this one here. Okay. No, what is the? Oh, there's a twenty twenty pushup. Oh, and one. and this one here. Okay. He's, I got one. He got zero. That's how I saw. And that one there. You know Johnny will make the rules. That's no, you got to get them correct. I mean, they they have to be all correct. Yep. They are. We just want a fair a fair game. Uh, a fair Let's game. See okay, if Johnny so Johnny wins. What Johnny, I got? Johnny, you have none. Um, but let's give a bonus. You get to switch one just because there was a mess up from the ref, right? Because we told him he had one correct. So you have none correct. Right. Let's see if you could do anything. Right. None of yours are correct right okay, now. Okay, none of them are correct. Okay. None. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Now, no, 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 no. Just don't worry about his. <laughs> you, you change, change. You have a chance. Change something. Oh, God. This dude, bro. Change something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what you cheating over here I'm for, cheating. bro? I'm cheating. I ain't even doing nothing. Okay. Oh, so Johnny changed it and he now has one. Okay. Okay. All right. That 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 and that helps. Craig got all three. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lying, no, he did, bro. <laughs> Hey, it's on camera. <laughs> oh, you don't, don't lie, bro. <laughs> you don't lie. Get this shit. God damn. Where's the push-ups? Incline. He's a on my back. Oh my god. Stand up. Oh, whoa. Pause. Oh. I'm just saying. No, no, pause. Oh my god. Come on, man. Oh. Hurry up, man, so we can talk about our WBA stars. Get these push ups. Oh, but then you'll be losing some more bets. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, we can't see you. Three. And as four, we take a moment from five. this break. Wait a minute, bro. Where are you starting from? Six, bro? seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> six. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> bro, Nine. Bro, bro. Nine. Ten. Bro, 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 well, you can't bro. cheat us on get all the way down. Eleven. Twelve. Oh my god. Come twelve. On, Come on, man. Twelve, bro. Dog, you got like thirteen. <laughs> Come on, man. You got seven for a while. Six, fifteen. <laughs> Oh 16. Yo, you. Oh this is called chain abuse. 17. He's abusing his chain on the ground right now. 18. Oh. Wait a minute, bro. Who we on? We're 18. Oh you got to get your 18. Get 18. 18. We got it. 19. 18. You got three more. Oh my God. Two more. Two more. Damn. Oh. Hey, that's sick. Come on, bro. Good job, Good Johnny. Me, bro. Good job, Johnny. Oh, my God. Way to work. Oh. A real sweat, dog. You gonna leave me hanging? Hey. Come on, man. He buff. He buff now. Don't cheat me, bro. Well, he's buff, and now we're back with WNBA talk. Whose game is it? <laughs> Who's the okay. Barbie? Who's the Barbie? Okay, because we're not. Angel Reese, you anything. might have to do a little spoof Thank show you. like that. Okay, come on, man. All right, so it's going to be a great game, and I think. Uh, Caitlin Clark broke another record too. Oh, come on, man. The most three pointers made by a rookie. Of course, we knew that. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. Again. Yeah, she's just making ah. her mark, man. You can't make this up. She's a bona fide hooper, hooper. Well, what recently she? somebody said, <laughs> is she making this up the guy. stats? No, this is reality. <laughs> this guy, okay, so look. So, this is a reality. So, this so is not a video game. She leads the league in assists. Okay. Yes, she does. Uh, yes. At 8.1. Okay. Now, yeah, 8.1. So, so he's saying, so I said, okay, but what about uh, oh, okay. Alisa Thomas? Is it Alisa Thomas? Alisa? Yeah, she's no, at no, Craig, seven. Let me tell you. Alisa Thomas, okay, she's right there, okay? Seven points. And so eight, not only that, she's leading in uh, points 48 minutes. 
<laughs> what? Yeah. I was just saying. Miss Thomas. So it's per 48 minutes and per game. So, right? So I look at the stats, right? I was looking at the stats. Wait. I didn't make the stats Craig. up. Craig. I didn't make the stats up, bro. Craig. It says now per you game. Know. Now it you says know. Now you know. If someone says per, says a per 48, they are reaching. That means. Who is reaching if it says the nah, columns that's a good are statistic stats? Because I use a lot of per 48. So, Those are, that's what it so, is. So, so Craig, how, uh, you know what Asia. Um, her per 48 is on points? 38. Yes. 38. You that. Do you know what her average is? 27. Yes. So guess what? When they make the card this year, her basketball card, uh -huh. are they going to have 38 or are they going to have 27? They're going to have 27. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Now, Not projected of what it could be if it was played in yes. this amount. Now, Craig, let me tell you one okay. other thing okay. that Johnny didn't put Now, in. who made that stat up? Did I make the fat, the stat up per 48 minutes? Did I make it up? No. Hey, and just mind you guys, this has been going on in the chat for like a day, okay. two so, days. So, Craig, this is an interesting thing about the 48. Yes. So, Caitlin has 31 games. The other girl, she has 30 games. What's your mean, so, other girl? Her name is Alexis Thomas. Get her it's, name. It's what? It's what? Alexis Thomas. Let me make sure I have it Yo, right. You too. get, get let, her me, name right. let me make sure. Don't worry, because she she about to get it. She so about now, to get her so shit right. Craig. Correct right now. So if she me. does not get eleven assists in her next game, oh. then even her her per forty eight that he's trying to go off of Hold on. will be like a ten point two. Yeah, we'll, we'll flip. Uh, so on. what I told him is, Alisa why don't we take, Thomas. Um, there are thirty games, and then we do the percentage. That's how you would know who actually has it. You can't go off of Caitlyn having one more game and her last game she had five assists. Okay. But there is an interesting stat about that five assists. And what is it, please, sir? Tell me. Let and us know. Think, Enlighten us. Yes. So Caitlyn Clark has 22 games straight with 15 points and five assists. 22 games straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 22 games straight. I mean, so so they could have said 10 if they wanted to. They're so just going to name it whatever number so, that she, she's in between. Right. So, so it doesn't matter. This is what we wanted to do uh, for all the Caitlin fans out there and all the Angel Reese fans. Angel Reese in, bound. Instead of us just talking stuff back and forth, we should put some wagers on this. Oh, we should. We should. Yeah. Exactly. Are y'all wagering for the game tonight? Exactly. So, so, I think, no, so no, no, he's no. talking Craig, about, Craig, Craig. So, so nothing. So he was talking about the playoffs or yeah. whatever, right? Oh, so he's saying like, but oh. it's a Sky versus Indiana game. Why don't you just get it started tomorrow? Well, right. we that can get that started. Bets, but we're talking. Yeah, pre like, yeah. We can definitely get that started. We're yeah, who it's them playing. playing. Yeah, they're playing it's tomorrow. The, it's the last one of the season for them. Yeah. Let's go 20 push-ups for that game tomorrow. This is going to be their best game. Hold on. Let me get that out. 20 for the push-up? 20 push-ups tomorrow? That's too light. Huh? Damn. No, no, that's a yes or no. Whether well, it's light. 50. Whether well, it's light. Let's do 50. Let's do 100. Like 20. Woo, make it light on yourself. <laughs> 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 uh, who you mean? Okay. <laughs> hey, we doing 50? 50. All right. Okay, so now wait. Mark. But that's, it's, it's Mark. It's one game. So when we beat them and they're no longer in the eighth seed, I want it to keep going because he was talking a lot of stuff. Really? And so the biggest stuff that he was talking uh -huh. was this rookie of the year and this playoff run. Uh -huh. So let's really okay. figure out what these Let's talk about are. it, though. So the rookie rookie of the year, mm -hmm. you think they should split it. I say no. no I say Reese Bell is not. No, Caitlin. She's not going to split Caitlin's it. Caitlin's getting I it. I say split it. Okay. And Craig says, so this is what I would like. If Caitlin wins, you wear a Caitlin jersey. And you stand right there by the Jack in the Box. We get you pom poms, and you got the jersey on, and you got to cheer for Caitlyn for three minutes. He got to re-record it. No, he got and he got to make a. Uh, hold, he got to make hold a, on, a okay, Caitlyn Clark hat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. God damn. Okay. <laughs> yep, the hat and the jersey. <laughs> the hat, the oh, hat got to go with it. And and but what I also said is he has to oh, then record God. and say I'm sorry for all the spew that I put on your name. All right, and then what what does he have to do if same it, thing? Oh, I'll rock the the and the Barbie. Angel Reese. Pink, though. No, no, I ain't no pink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Angel, the, the Sky colors. Barbie. Sky, no, Sky Blue. Yeah, they got a Sky oh. jersey that's pink. Yeah, they do. Don't worry. And they, and they got we'll shy Barbie one. on the back. Don't worry. We'll find one for you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, think wait, wait. you're going to the playoffs. He already know the fever's going to the playoffs. So who do you think initiated this? No, bet? it's not over. What do you? That's what I'm saying. You're already giving who up. Who do you think initiated? Yeah, but it's, Give it's, up it's not locked. It's not locked. Wait, the wait, fever wait, wait. have to win six more wait, games. Wait, wait, wait. They're wait, not wait. locked. 
See, that's, that's where the you, thing. Where you can give I up. I have faith in my team. Where you give up. I have faith where, in where my you team. Where you give up. Do you have faith in How yours? How did it become your team? We're not locked. Where did it become your team? Oh, he put season. on the Kayla Clark jersey. Yes, yeah. He put on the Reese's Pieces. Okay. Oh, you forgot. Oh, and, oh yes. Oh, man. And we're now, adding. Craig, this was one other thing that I wanted to ask you. Do you know of a team that was last place and then all of a sudden Make they the just soared into the playoffs? Hey, history he just teams, made the playoffs. Like, he he w- just made the playoffs. He's on sword. W- he just made the yeah. playoffs. That's it, bro. Why are you acting like it's just so, you know, like. And then, then the he's emphasis, making it like they're a, the a championship team. I said no. They're not a championship team, period. Now, are they getting they out the first round? They just beat a team no. who was in the finals. They just beat the number two seed. And I told Again. Johnny, I told Johnny, the problem is the fever started one and eight. What that mean? And so when you yeah, look at the record, you like can say, oh, they're only six seed. But if you look past um, All-Star game, past the Olympic break. So don't look you, at none of that. Always close your eyes on something. No, you want me to close playing, my eyes or something? Playing right now? Wait, you don't want me to see it all. You want me to close my eyes or something, then open it, close it back up, close what, what? The Fever are playing championship basketball. Oh, my God. Will they win? Oh. Probably not. Oh, it ain't even in the playoffs. Well, so you're talking about championship basketball, hey, bro. Last, last 10, 10 games. 10 games left. You, you want to look up, you wanna if look you're up the last bottom 10 seed, games? If you're a bottom seed, you playing playoff basketball. Just like, huh? just like guys trying to get in the playoffs. That's what if I'm you're saying. trying and you're trying to stay or get into the playoffs, it's playoff basketball these last ten games for everybody. And we and, except and, if you're if and, you've already been seated. And the fever are saying, eight. Correct. Also, they're eight and two. Last ten, Chicago is uh, I believe two and eight or three and seven. But I can get that for you. I feel like Chicago's missing a piece mm-hmm. too. So Chicago needs oh, a piece. Man. We had a couple. Oh, of oh, Craig, over Craig, Craig. There. Chicago yeah, in the last ten games is three and seven. Okay, what's wrong with yeah, that? that? Sorry, that was wrong Fever, with that. Eight and okay. two. Sorry, we, 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 we you all said right. What's wrong with we it? We all right. We all right. We all right. What's wrong with it? Well, we still got the AC hey, right now. Still y'all got the AC may be right all now. right, but one still person AC right who now. ain't all right was Willie Cauley Stein. Okay. Oh my God. Because he had went to rehab because he thought he had a Percocet issue, mm. right? Um, but it comes to find out he was taking fake fit and all lace pills. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Hey, well, either- I don't even know how you get that wrong, though, but I, like that's confusing. So, yeah. like, you must have got him from a friend. Mm-hmm. Right, because I don't yeah. know if I go to the doctor and I'm not getting no well, fake he's, pills. Either he's gotta find out. First off, he's a, he has to That's be an oxymoron to even think of that. Because first off, if they were fake, he had to know you're fake. It's not. It's not no. Ooh. It's not no. Because you're not getting them from the, your regular doctor. It's not being prescribed. So, sir. Johnny, are you saying that? Maybe in his blood it showed it, and he's just saying that. Of course, of course, it has uh, to be. So you sir. think there's some foul play? It has so to be because you're not getting, you didn't get those fake, fake pills from a doctor. A doctor is not about to put his license on the line and give you these fake pills that's supposed to help you. What if you're Kanye's dentist? Well, you could be Kanye's dentist or Michael Jackson's doctor. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, the, the Kanye dentist. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here go this Joker guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. That's just, yeah. hey, that's what it is. Money is money, bro. Well, I just hope he's okay first and foremost, right? Because if yeah. you were taking a lot of those, you don't know how that was responding to the body. So just yeah. big prayers up uh, right, right, for him, right. but that's a pretty scary situation. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, because yeah, you yeah. just never know what comes out, especially with like pills and things like that. Yeah. And like, I don't like pills. I didn't like taking pills like after surgery. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, especially addiction. I mean, addiction is so just kind of, and then, you know, it's kind of hereditary too, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know your history, like yeah. certain things that <clears throat> you consume, uh, you know, a little more than other people it might affect you a little different yep. just because your bloodline, like, you know, with alcohol and stuff like that is just in your system. And, like, if you get it, then, you know, you might, you know, trigger you to just be an alcoholic or something like that. Like, um, Johnny you know I mean? yeah. and Craig, from your lives, without knowing, what would you think is one of those addictions that somewhere in your ancestry mm. that has come upon your life? Like oh, mine might be Big Macs. Oh man, I, I'm definitely gonna say beer because, like, well, shit, I love you, Auntie. <laughs> okay, but my Auntie, <laughs> she's put beer in my bottles and our bottles to put us to sleep, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, so, so, but I'm gonna say this though, like, so, <laughs> oh, <the> bottle, <laughs> a bo- oh, in the bottle, the baby bottle, yeah. 
So look, so me being a bad ass, little bad, you know, kid. So my auntie one day she um she set a uh, I guess a, a cup of beer down and she told me not to touch it, of course, and I touched it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And I drank it, right? And I guess I drank it, and she said she was like, everybody looking, like, where's where's Johnny at? Where's Johnny at? Everybody looking for me. I'm on the side of the damn bed. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it out, like you know what I'm saying. I'm like, knock just out. knock the hell out, go, like you know what I mean. Drinking some damn beer, you know. But now, <clears throat> as I get older, I cannot, st- I cannot stand the smell of beer, bro. I can't smell yeah. I, the smell of it, the taste Not a big of it, beer fan. nothing. Now, only thing, only type of beer I will probably would drink is something like if it has like a Mike's. Well, Mike's Heart Lemonade is not the beer, but like a uh, Zima the. Other little um, oh the flavor in the, it. like like yeah you like know, a little flavor, flavor in it or something I possibly could but <laughs> yeah. other than that like a, a Heineken uh, Corona's Corona all that Swiss eight eight hundred uh, uh, Old English Slits Coke forty five like nah I could none of that <laughs> <laughs> two of them let me get uh, Coke forty five <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying Coke forty five <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I was like, man, I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing. So I think it was a, I want to thank my auntie for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it was, it, it triggered something different to where now, like I said, I don't even drink beer. I don't even, I can't even wow. fuck with it. I guess what I would say it's probably off the like wild, mm. but I feel like I don't know for us and my family, like the energy. Mm. I guess we were from my dad. Like I don't know this uh, this wild. Energy for, I guess, women. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sexual desire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sexual desires. Wow. Horny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm cursed. Right, 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 right. But I just feel, I don't know. Like, it's just an energy that mm. I can't even really explain, though. It oh, just feels like it's just, it's just been happening, especially as an adult. But like you, it's like, I don't know, Hereditary, because I feel like my dad's been tall, so like we have that tall mm-hmm. effect. Yeah, so yeah. when you're tall, you're like in a different percentage. You feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Definitely, then you might definitely. look a certain way, and then that right. percentage goes in. So it's like everywhere you go, you feel like somebody's flirting with you. Right, right, And then right, you right, might right. not even be trying to be like trying uh-huh. to flirt with somebody. Yeah, or, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just that type of energy. Right, 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 right. Did I help explain it better, I think? I mean, that's you know? that's what it is, because I think more so. So, so, like, so, so, so being tall is <laughs> that's, that's is that what you're saying? No, that- it's not being. I feel like it's a mixture mm. of things. You can yeah. be tall, but and like that picture we showed mm. that Johnny showed us, uh-huh. right? Oh. Exactly. I'm Some saying. looks are deceiving. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? So, it can change, so you, you, know you mean? gotta fit the mold. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah. like I don't know, just fitting some mold. Yeah. I mean, I think mostly, and then just me. I'm gonna say this because you know, of course, I'm one of the short guys or whatever. But, however, that's what been always, you know, the girls want the taller guys, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. So, but at the same time, you said it still have to fit, still have to. Got to fit the you know criteria. I mean? still, yeah, okay, you know what I mean, things like that. So, that's why it kind of. Can't be looking like Frankenstein's monster. A little bit. Yeah, because you'd be like, wait a minute, you know, and then, you know, some and most women, like, think, you know, want men as protectors and stuff like that. So, so, so then, Johnny, knowing that, what did you add to your game so that you could be able to still pull be different i would say i would say more so just pause, 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 pause. well i would say more so for me um uh, it was more like just being myself you know what i'm saying and then like i saw like you know some of my relatives uncles and stuff you know being the game and stuff my uncle papa my uncle robert and stuff like i saw them like really dealing with a lot of women like you know, I saw that like in you know, and like my uh, my uncle Robert, light skin, pretty eyes, hazel eyes, curls, had all the girls. My uncle Papa, dark skin, real dark, like dark dark, and just had all the ladies. It was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. he was that dude, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was like you know what I mean. So I saw both 
both sides of it to where, you know, like dark skin and light skin being able to get women, like, you know what I'm saying? And even though I'm like in the middle in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But I saw that in then, the like, middle. In the middle. Well, no, I'm saying because my bro, uncle. Shady. Shady. No, 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 I'm saying he my uncle. He was in the middle. He was shady. He was lighter than the, the, well, hey, yo. the hat. <laughs> well, my uncle is, is about this dark, though. That's oh. what I'm saying. See, my uncle is about this dark, <laughs> but he had all the ladies, you know what I'm saying, was smooth, so. That's what I'm saying. So really? like you can you can see the comparison still though, but I'm saying my uncle was like this, and you like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? He made the darkest, darkest look good, like handsome. Like that's his yeah. type of dude he was. That's what I'm saying. So I saw that, but I saw also saw the women, how the situations was yeah. and stuff like that, to where, you know, I was just but like, But I don't okay. think color is necessarily ugly though. Like no, no, no. Some it's just dark, dark skin got that blue, like Yeah, and that smooth nice. skin. But see I'm saying but when you you don't know when you're growing up, you think it's dark skin is dark skin is not it's not the it's not the appealing thing. That's what that's what it is. You nah, know what I'm saying? For so real. Yeah. That's what it was. So then you don't see too many that's but I'm saying not brown. See, I'm brown. I'm dark but brown. When you when you're next to someone that's yeah. dark, dark skin, yeah. like we have dark skin member uh, family members that's dark. We call them really, you know what I'm saying. So with them, you're like, okay, you know what I mean. And you know, like you said, they got a smooth skin, like a lot of Africans, real pretty and yeah. smooth and stuff. So and I think that comes out too. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's why it's people look at them different and stuff like that. But I'm saying like he was one of the first that I seen that just like, and he was really dark because most of the dark doing. men was. It was ugly or scary or this or that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you're like, wait a minute. You know what I mean? So it was just different. But like for me, I just was just being myself and just noticing what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't the dude wanting to be in the in crowd with everybody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was kind of like in and in and out. Like, you know, because some of my homeboys was that was in. I was with them, but I wasn't with the other people because I kind of knew like certain things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we, I hung up on, I hung out on Crenshaw at times. You know what I'm saying? But- I knew what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? We and, got a problem. You know, we got a problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was just just like those ways, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, just I think I would have loved myself, to be a teenager you know? back then and okay. be on the Shaw. I feel like oh, my, my era is like the, like we just missed it. I just it. missed it. Oh man, it was lovely, man. You go on the Shaw, man. This is what we do. So this was the plan. Okay. Friday. Friday was like a uh, little whatever right you know what i'm saying like the buzz because saturday sun was the day so friday you go out there like okay okay but saturday oh that's when you go get the numbers every day you know what i'm saying you go different uh pull up the different driveway everybody's post up at the liquor bank chase uh can we make this a cartoon YouTube. oh my talking. god it was just it's just crazy so everybody up and down the, <laughs> down the street you get your spot then like everybody had their spots that they would go to kicking the spot this is here every, you spot? know what i'm saying my spot was right on um, Crenshaw and Stalker. It was a Washington Mutual right there, mm -hmm. and we used to kick it right there behind the uh, behind the bank right there. And that was just sorry. We and across street right from the liquor store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the little burger stand yeah. right there, the gas station where the baby saying? boy was. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So we right there. That was our little spot. Then we'll move down to the. Uh, to where the Jack in the Box was, the Jack in the Box right there in the, in the um, gas yeah, station the right Jack there. Crack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right across from the liquor bank. So then we'll be over there. Now, see, that's the thing about it. We wasn't in the liquor bank parking lot because yeah. it was too deep. You know what I'm saying? And you had to be the right, like, you know what I'm saying? You so it's like, hey, you know what I mean? The neighborhood and of exactly. And everybody had they had they spots. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas make you move. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you you not spot, Get up right? out of there, yeah. Yeah, you know, but it was good. You know, we had fun. And then Saturday, we get the numbers. Then Sunday, We'll call up the girls that we got numbers to and invite them over to the spot. And and then we'll play this game. Whoever got the most girls, you know, jot it down. You know what I'm saying? And That's crazy because you, know you think about that process. And I'm like, damn, that's a long ass process. Yeah. You said he's going to call Saturday. <laughs> he ain't going to hang out Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you got the number like today, like with the young generation, right, right. I'm already in the oh, DM. Man. Nah, we had a whole You process. over the crib an hour later. Oh, man. And then, Friday, and then Friday, we at the mall. We're at the mall Friday yeah. getting numbers too. Damn, the 1900s, dog. Yes, bro. Shout yeah, out to the man. 1900s, on, man. man. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Man. The 90s. Good authentic times. Hey, we man. appreciated our time with people. Hey, the 90s was hey, the 90s was a shit, man. You can't you can't replace the 90s, man. 80s was good too, but the 90s, oh man. Yeah, well, speaking of the it. 90s, you know what came out in the 90s? Beetlejuice. Oh, yes. That was like my part. There. I used to do that to some of my friends who had the, like little heads paws. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just broke over their head and go like this. 
You know who you <laughs> are. Craig, Craig, hey, Craig, 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 Craig. We're wrong. It was 1988. Damn, we was wrong. <laughs> hey, round that shit up, though. <laughs> right, round right. that shit up. But we got into it in hey, the We 90s, were young right back now. then. That don't count. You know, we were babies at the you end of the me? 1900s. You feel okay, me? Man. Stall us out. But hey, into the 1980s, into the 1990s, yeah. Beetlejuice was a, a cult classic. Hey, man, you feel me? On. And now part two's coming out. Majority of the people from the first one mm-hmm. are in the second wow. one. Wow. See, that's what I like. See, I like, I like when movies have the same people in it. You know, keep keeps that thing together, keeps the whole you see the growth in it as well. You know what I'm saying? I hate when they replace people, which I understand contracting this and that, but at the same time, you know, they they made a mark. Yep. That's what I hate too. You know, people do make marks on certain characters, like, yeah, this is my character. Let me keep my character. You know, you don't want me to pay yeah. me, but yeah, everybody quoting my lines, everybody quoting my stuff from the movie, and I and I wasn't even supposed to be in it that much. And, and look. This was crazy, right? Because mm. this movie came out in 1988, but he did something even more iconic in the 90s, becoming mm. Batman. Oh, my God. Yes. He's the first Batman. Right, right, But right, right. this is how good of an actor he is, the fact that he's so iconic. They, mm. We love this character of Beetlejuice. Right, 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 right. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You play Batman, but we'll quote these Beetlejuice lines. You right, know what right, I'm right, right, right. Yes. Come it on, just man. shows like his his length of um, versatility. Yes, definitely. Right? Definitely, definitely. Because as an actor, you can certainly get stuck in a role. Mm-hmm. And he, every yeah. time, has kind of reimagined himself, especially mm-hmm. in the latter of his later right. uh, years as right. far as acting. Oh, yeah, definitely. So big shout out to uh, Michael Keaton, first and foremost. Seen, uh, Bird Come on, man. man. Who? Yes, I did see Birdman. So that was his, I, I guess before this, Birdman. the other thing that sort of brought him yes, back. Yes, Birdman mm-hmm. was the thing that mm-hmm. brought, brought him back. back. was yeah. really good. Yeah, Birdman yeah, yeah, was yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. good. So, I yeah. mean, he, he's, he's, he's an icon, man. He's, a, he's Birdman icon, was good, bro. Birdman was good. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, you Birdman know. was good. And that's why, I, first of all, I, I got to say, Bill Wait. is one of my, what's that? Was he in, what's the movie with uh, Samuel L. Jackson? It was a Quentin film. Uh, Chris Tucker's in it, and he's in the trunk. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. He is in Jackie Brown. He is Jackie yeah. Brown. He is in Jackie Brown. Yeah. He's in a lot of different things, like sneaking. Just you know what little mean? cameos, or whatever. But I mean, that's that's Michael Keaton, man. I mean, you can't you can't deny him. Come on, man. man. I mean, doing like uh, anything, like he's a uh, what you call it? Okay, what, Mike, Michael Michael Keaton Fame? or Kevin Icon? Costner? Icon. Who? Kevin Costner. Robin hey, Kev, Kevin Costner's from Compton. <sighs> First and foremost, yeah. Fun fact: You didn't know Kevin Costner from Compton. Yeah, he from the hood. He he he, he with the homies. Um, so I would that's say that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. And he got Whitney. Yeah, that's tough. The bodyguard. That's bodyguard. Tough. Was... First Batman, <sighs> Superman. Batman. Or, or no, no Robin, Robin Hood. Kevin Who? Costner was the first. Like, oh girl, yeah, he Robin was Hood. Robin Hood. He was yeah, Waterworld, Waterworld yeah. hard. It's yeah, still at like Universal Star Studios. Yeah. They got rid of Back to the Future and uh, still got Waterworld. Mm-hmm. I, ah, that's tough. That's tough. That's a tough one, dude. That's tough. That's, that's tough. a really uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's tough. Sort of I like both of them. Hey, co MVPs. <laughs> yeah, now them. I, hey, I agree for them to split. <laughs> split they can split, split, split that. You split. know what I'm saying? Because uh, when he did Bodyguard, that was crazy, bro. Uh, he, oh my god, that was. Man, that, that was, was epic. Dope, right? Very like. What you guys think of uh, Whitney? What do you think of her? What do you mean? She's phenomenal. Like, what she's, do you mean? she's what? Uh, she's phenomenal. Yeah, let's give her her flowers. Uh, yeah. We're gonna definitely get Whitney Houston <laughs> yeah. her damn flowers first and foremost. Yeah, I'm like hearing that in my mama car all the damn time. Yes, come on, man. One of the greatest, all this, one of, the greatest on, of all time. Listen, man. That that uh, speaking of that was um that was our uh. My sixth grade graduation. No, was it? Yeah, my fifth grade graduation. We sung that uh, song. You sung it? Yeah, we sung that song. Oh. Give, give us a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay, what you yeah. Yeah. Give us, give us. Uh, what high song? And I. That's all we need. Those are two words. And uh, Come on, Johnny. No, that's not it. No, matter of fact, no. Not always love you. No. We were talking about the bodyguard. <sighs> Oh man, let me let me get our there let me get our let me get our Craig, wow, 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 wow. Well, speaking of a bodyguard, Benny Siegel, <laughs> Jay Z's body knows. <laughs> Benny Siegel, my dog, just opened up a food truck. All right. It's called Grab and Roll Wings and Rolls. Oh, I'm yeah. sure it's gonna be fire. He from Philly. I mean, Philly know how to get down, especially when it comes to the cheesesteak. But uh 
I mean, I like this. It's a different lane, right? Everybody's going to have to do something where they go into some of a different passion. I know I've dated for children's books and et cetera, being a basketball player. So I think this is one of Benny's, pa- Benny's passions of, you know, um, of making food. You feel me? But when you said food, so he has like one okay. food truck. Greatest that love of all. With? Yeah. He started a food truck and it's called Grab and Roll Wings and Roll. Where's that at? It's in Philly, it's I in believe. Philly, man. Where else would it be? This Philly cat is back he at it. Moved up. I don't Benny do much. Benny Siegel, <laughs> if he had a food truck, where else would it be? <laughs> Other than Philly, bro. Like, come I on. I don't man. do much. You know what I'm talking about? So come shout on, out man. Benny, man. Like, big ups. Yes. If I'm in Philly, I'm going to try to pull up to the food truck for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Shout out, Now, Benny, he got to pull man. up to Slick with the food truck, huh? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Pull up to pull, Slick, pull man. Pull it up, so man. Who got the best Philly cheesesteaks out here in L.A.? Man, well, first of all, we don't rock oh, Philly, Philly that's cheese a good sticks out here. Like what well, do you do, though? Fat Sal's probably does one. I'm sure Fat Sal's has a really good mm-hmm. cheese steak. Well, I wouldn't say Subway. That's what I'm saying. It got to be like a mom and pop. Yeah. Oh, go yeah. Say oh. Subway about it here. No, but authentic. that's what it is. Like, you got... You got authentic. What? It got to be authentic. Yeah, that's what I'm mom saying. Mom and pop, so we don't like really a have... Dan Subs. Yeah, when we have a Dan good, Subs. Shout out Dan Philly, Subs. Philly Steak. So that means... Hey, so Beanie Siegel, that what you, you need to come out here. And, and then, uh, well, hold on. Let us know who got the bomb Phillies, okay? Yeah, let I us prefer know. Uh, vegan Philly, because I want you red meat. But mm. Johnny, all the red meat. Definitely. Let me know. So, I'll go visit. So you know Craig what I'm saying? says that the chili cheese fries with the tofu is real. I just cheese say fries. tofu. You better put some respect on the chicken chili. Oh God! On oh, the man. bricks, on the chili brick. You oh, said, hey, "Eat this respect on the chili." Yo, we get the Obama meal, and what do you get? I get the chicken salad sandwich <laughs> with fries. Yeah, you don't get the number nine, the Obama special. No, I get I get wings on the side and I get red beans and rice, uh, but I get the chicken salad sandwich. Uh-huh. Uh, I like that. And, and I get my waffles too. Have Did I? you see how many wings I ordered? How many wings? More than like 10 wings. 10 wings, red beans and rice, two waffles, chicken salad sandwich, fries. Bomb. Okay. Don't knock it till you try it. All right. He likes well, it. I, I so mean, he ain't, Trying to if you got, as long as you got, they want to get. I want to yeah, get the yeah. Obama. Mm. Like, fool, you been going there before Obama. He ain't talking exactly. about he want the Obama <laughs> special. Right, right. Fool, what are you talking? This is like our special. Let's yeah. just keep it a buck. Okay, yeah, okay. That's that used to be the number nine. Yes. Yeah. So okay. I, how many times to get the number nine? I've been living here all my life. All right. Okay. Can all I right. get something different now that I like? It, it, yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> you, you can. That gives you, you know, because it, it's like that. You know what I mean? Because everybody expect, but hey, everybody knows the number. You nine. know what's not like that. Women who don't wear deodorant. Ooh. That's disgusting. Nasty. First and foremost. Ooh. Hey, but Harry, there's one Harry thing. I think too? there's like a lemon. If like mm. if if women use like lemon or something like that, mm. it's like really good and it'll like zap and take everything out. You won't be uh-huh. uh, musty or anything. So now he told that to a girl he No, I tried it. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> so you so you so you cut a piece of lemon, put it under your armpit. Wait, what do you mean you tried it, Craig? You tried it personally? Yeah. I ran out of deodorant and I had a lemon in there. And so I was like, you, oh, snap. You, let me use so the have, lemon. You never heard that and if it didn't you burn stink, or... you sometimes can't smell that you stink. No, nah, you know how you know how many when you get out of LA Fitness and you shower <laughs> and that armpit still stink? Right. And take off all <laughs> your pills in the <laughs> locker room? <laughs> and you still like, God damn. <laughs> that lemon is zap that, on, buddy. Bro. That lemon is zap that. Uh uh-uh, uh, man. Now you still be musty sometimes, all that hair under oh your armpit. God. Come on, That's man. what the lemon for. Mm-mm. Zap that. Yeah. And, and, get, and some get some chili. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Why is this guess what? Funny, dog. Yo. Why is this episode <laughs> fucking funny? Guess whose birthday it is? Michael Jackson. Ow! Dun, 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 dun. First of all, one of the hardest, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Shout out to Michael Jackson. Happy birthday to the king. To the king of pop. Get your ticket right. Okay. Moonwalker, one of the hardest movies ever created. Come on, man. Killer. Girl is mine. Killer. Girl is mine. (laughs) If you haven't watched Moonwalker. That was the first time where I just seen people fainting. Do you remember at the beginning? Michael. Man, they were hey. just, until I seen the five heartbeats. And that changed my mind when the girl. First of all, I got this video game. Still. Oh. I have Moonwalker the Moonwalker. video. Moonwalker. Oh. That was hard. 
Yeah. Oh, he's been spin that move. Dog. Oh my God! Come on, man. Like you uh, know, hey, let's give Michael his flowers, even though he's had several flowers. But Mike has just done so much for the world, for the people, for the culture, for music, people' lives. Like it's, it's crazy. It's just, a part of a lot of different yeah, things that like, everybody wouldn't even know about. I feel like I feel man. like Michael even had ideas about Marvel and yes. different things like that. Like come on, such man. a creator. Lady of my life. He bought the Beatles. Beatles was hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was hot. They was hot. He said, Ooh, "Let me tell you how." I- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know how you got it though. You know how you got it though. Oh, let me tell y'all. So look, so Mike, so they, so they was trying to sell it, right? So they've been trying to sell it and everything, right? So everybody's trying to figure it out, and you know, the Beatles, which you know, of course, led by Paul McCartney, he got the say so. So he, you know, but him and Mike is cool. You remember say 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 every day? No. <laughs> so they had, uh, they was cool. So Mike was like, hey, so. If you wanted to sell the Beatles catalog, how much would you sell it for? And he told him the number. Johnny, Bye please down. don't whisper this story. Covering you. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's a secret story. I know, because it, it, it was a secret. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got I to gotta stay in character for Mike. So uh, Mike like, hey, Paul, how much you sell sell the Beatles for? You know, and he told him. So, mm, okay. Next thing you know. <laughs> Mike call up his people. Hey, offer him this. <laughs> he gonna take it. And <laughs> guess what? <laughs> he took it. And then walked in and said, "There is the lady." Right. And then look, look, Paul, Paul, happy as hell. He like, oh yeah, I finally sold it. Wait. Michael, somebody, somebody finally bought it. Mike, like, oh yeah, yeah, that was me. What? <laughs> Wait, isn't that with, with uh, the Rock with Jay Z? Yeah, something. It was something like that too. What? Yeah, what? Where Jay Z brought in somebody else to sort of offer them money, and then after they got the brand, then Jay Z went. Well, and yeah, that's how that's the Rockefeller. So it's the same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co- yeah. Uh, yeah, sort of, kind of. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. Yeah. Bing, ding, ding. Right. I mean, come on, man. And Mike, Mike, man, that's. I I, I just want to say like, with, iconic. The fa- the, the well, you know, favorite- got to grab your private area in front of a, like millions of people every time and in front of a camera mm. and nothing happened. Hey, well, no, something does happen. Motherfuckers faint and go crazy. I mean, crazy. they faint, yeah, in a, in a good way, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? think about if you did that thing like today, right? <laughs> Would that cost something? Hey, you do that hey, move as P- a single well, move Pee-wee every Herman, time. Pee Wee Herman mm. did it and. Got he canceled. got it. He got canceled. <laughs> oh, oh, he came back and tried to do it. To, um, R.I.P. Pee Wee. He was yeah. Pee-wee. First off, Pee Wee was Pee Wee did something different. Can you do the Pee Wee Herman dance? Pee Wee was Can you do the Pee Wee Herman dance though? Yeah, everybody. Come on, man. But look, so my favorite. I want to say this. My favorite movie from Michael Jackson was The Wiz. I want to say that. Shout out The Wiz. I mean, that was. I mean, just the way he do it. Because listen, let me tell you, like with Mike, you just only seen him dancing. You always seen him dancing, performing and stuff. When he played the Wiz, it was like now you get to see him. What was the song again? Um, you can win again, again. Yeah. It's the same again. It's the same, same, same. We don't hear no words. It's just the same, the same. Yo, Johnny, you should do Sammy. You Davis. can win. Oh, you can win. Well, he, he could, right? <laughs> you, did you see that? Cl- I saw a clip where um, Will Chamberlain was fighting Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, yeah. And Sammy yeah, Davis yeah. didn't see him yet. Right, right. And so right, he right, turned right, around right. and Will was there and he's like, <laughs> right, right, it's a right. Classic. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, we can read something. Yeah, um, you don't say. No. <laughs> sure, boing, boing, sure boing, boing, boing. Uh, there's a lot of things that've been going on since Anthony Edwards said that comment about skill. Um, well, might- yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's ask you because we've been talking about it, but since you were in the NBA, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> <clears throat> and actually, yeah, congratulations. You we don't give you your flowers, but that's pretty cool, right? Thank you. Um, what do you think? And from two aspects. So KG said mm-hmm. all the ballers right now could not play 20 years ago because the game was too physical. Right. Do you agree? Nah, well, one, I agree with mostly of it, but he know LeBron could probably play. 
Like we could keep that up. Well, he, he was, I, I know he yeah. wasn't talking about Brian <laughs> Ticket. We know, we know. Right. So, but majority of guys probably because of the rules are different, and right, it's a different time. And they were violent, brutal back then a little bit, and that's what, what people don't you, what understand. What the guy, what the guy yeah. tell you, the uh, basketball player? Oh yeah, so you know, I, I played for Rick Mahorn, two-time mm. bad boy. I mean, mm. a, a bad boy champion with the Detroit mm. Pistons. Mm. Played with Charles Barkley in Philadelphia, right, right. and every day I seen when I would pull up, I, I would hop out the car. And Rick Mahorn is just look at me and it's like, man, back in the day, I would have kicked your ass. <laughs> like, damn, me? Right, right, like, yeah, right, I would have right. kicked your ass. Like, man, I would have busted y'all ass. First uh, and foremost, I, uh, I felt like for me, my physicality is at that. Yeah, like, yeah, I can yeah. play that physicality being that I played in the the last era of, mm. I feel like, really hardcore physicalness, right, especially right, within right, the right. Big East. Yeah. But Rick Mahorn is... I'll kick your ass, Frank. Right <laughs> I, I, I feel the energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. motherfuckers was wrestling to yeah. get the post. Yeah, yeah. It was you a, ain't yeah. wrestling now. This yeah. is a, it's a motherfucking WWF move. Right. right you ever right. seen that time where uh, Kareem was in Milwaukee? That white uh, dude gave him a chip. He just yeah. took off on him. Right. Like say, this okay. is a different era. I don't mm -hmm. know if y'all build like that right, or right, would be right. ready in that regard yeah. to fight. Some yeah. of you guys, of course, because of your yeah. upbringing. A majority of you guys, right. because I know how the NBA is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they it gets even real charming the in there when it comes to real life. You feel me? Right. They ain't want to wear the shorts. They can't even wear the little all shorts. With the shorts, too? Oh, man. They can't even do that. So can you do all that creative <laughs> dunking with man, those shorts? They, hey, listen. That's the thing about it. Like, basketball has changed no, wait, so much. Can, can Anthony None of them. do the same dunks if he had to wear those shorts? Yeah. <laughs> He Just probably could, but he'd hey, be no so... no tights was out. What they wear, a jock strap? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm sick, saying. bro. You got a heavy jock strap, too. It's a different so time. So you get yeah. poster on. Well, that yeah. because, right, within the era, there is what is called and, and what uh, I think Ticket was talking about with the creativity, mm -hmm. right? Back in the day, you kind of had oh, to Paul do... Paul Pierce said that. Oh, Paul, Pier Paul, Paul Pierce, said that. Yeah, he was like... Yes, I do think the skill set level may be a little bit more, but he was like, but you're just adding on to what other people had already created. Right. But if you go back in the day, yes. they had to use their imagination to come up with this stuff. Right. Yes, exactly. they had to really exactly. think about this in yes. that regard. And the only thing I can test to now is, based upon that, they're only getting creative off new rules. Right. So, right, the step back is a little bit different, right? And then I can run into Maybe. something and step back, mm -hmm. right? Those are a little bit of imagination of now today or when Ginobili first started playing, mm -hmm. the Euro mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Right, the Euro step. So now it comes in bits and pieces now because everything's been loaded up, you feel mm -hmm. me? And it's only like, what do you call when something gets reinvented? It's right. a micro... <laughs> evolution. <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, evolution. You know what I'm <laughs> And then so, you know yeah. what you, you know what else has uh, changed? The gather. The what? The gather. Like you know, like now, like you could take two steps, right? It's always been two steps. That's yeah. it. Oh, well, yeah. that's because of the rules. So, right. That's what I'm saying. It's always been two steps. two steps. However, when you dribble and be, when you taking that bounce, when you gather. Your bounce doesn't start till after you gather the ball. I mean, yeah, you can grab like, it. Yeah, like when you do that, that's that doesn't count as a step until after. So when you do yeah. that, Wait, did they bring now that, it's that one, two. In? Well, it's it always become... no. See, no, no. See what it was. It's always been that rule, but see, people didn't use it to the so uh, really to on their like advantage. That. Just like the step through, just like the euro, how they did it, they just changed it to where it's still a step. You know what I'm saying? Then just like with Dirk, Dirk do his step off the wrong leg. Nobody would think, and then he—that's his now. Like, oh yeah, you know what that I'm saying? step off so the wrong leg like, is a real lay because you know, like it, it's it's off the time of the shot blocker. Somebody who's coming to block your shot, so right. get you going to get it faster and put it on the backboard right. so you can get a goal team, right? Or a bucket. So he knew already how. So he changed that. Like, how can he do that? That's crazy. And this, and it's not like it's never been done. It's just people didn't stop then and just do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just the move. Like with the gather, 
you're going to gather or you're just not going to gather, right? But until you have to gather, well, you're then, not going to do it until you have, then, then you learn to gather it, cuff it, swing it around. It's all type of different ways. Go around now, your like, back, uh, drop it low. Yeah. So, so it's just like different things. But now you know, like, oh, I use my gather. So as soon as I'm gathering, now I can take my two. You know what I'm saying? Or they, now they're even slowing it down. They've been slowing the two down either. Like they oh, yeah, go yeah, yeah. one, oh. and then two. Go. Yeah, like they even slowing it down because it's still the one, even though he's still moving. He's just going slow. Because the point is, you're still moving. So as long as I'm still moving, I haven't uh, placed my foot down. So I can go as slow as I want. Boom. Like you're you know trying to mean? mess that defender up because that defender's coming a million miles per hour. Yeah. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm about to time this because you yeah. think you're about to smack this. Arr! Yeah. I'm either going to get that or get a foul. Right. That's that's the creativity. Just like you said, back in the day, like I agree with Paul Pierce. They had to use their mind. They had to create these things. And I don't give a damn, bro. You cannot take that away from them. Just because you can do no. some things better and you're more athletic Guys and like stuff Elgin like that. Baylor, Jerry yeah, Russell, they on, had man. to learn that. Dribbling, man. Pistol Bob P and them dribble on their damn P. fingers, bro. Just like to learn the, Julius, the techniques, the fundamentals Magic, Larry, and stuff, bro. Like, come you know on, what Isaiah, mean? Isaiah, come on, man. Yeah, like all these little stuff, man. The dribble. Oh, my God. Listen, let me tell you something. You know what's interesting? How come Clyde Drexler oh, yeah, and Clyde. Dominique Wilkins, I never hear people Excuse mention me. them, but when I was growing up, they were like. What you mean? Michael nah. Jordan. No, of course, Michael Jordan. Yes. That's a that's the answer though. You said why they don't miss it because of Michael Jordan. He ruined a lot of careers, bro. I'm sorry. That's just what. It, that's why you don't have a lot of household names because Mike took that from them, bro. I'm sorry. He the championships and what he's doing. He took their and then names. in Kobe's era. Who who else do they talk about except for T Mac? Hmm. Right. The other it's a ton of perimeter wings. Okay. Yeah. You see what I'm saying in that regard. So it gets. Ooh, why did I just think of Mitch Richmond? See what I'm saying. But yeah. Mitch Richards in the early 90s. No, no, TMC. I before mm -hmm. TMC, oh. dog. TMC. Yeah, shooter. Penny Hardaway's crossover. Run TMC. No, not just his crossover. Imagine if they kept them together, how the Warriors probably would have had more championships. Wait, who'd you say? Mm -hmm. TMC. Who? Yeah, run TMC. Run yeah. TMC. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tim Hardaway and Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen and then Mitch Richmond. Yeah. Come on, my Run guy. TMC, dog. That's a, that's a big thing. Yeah. And then... What I thought was crazy back in the day, how mm. the hell Mark Curry get in the uh, uh. the Golden State um, Warriors like layup lines oh, for, his, yeah. for a show? Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that yeah. was like wow. Oh yeah, and, they, and not only that, Amar Rashad. Remember he played the yeah. Amar Rashad yesterday? came in and played a game. Hey, little jumper, came up the you know curl. Yeah, hit little jumper Burn. and stuff. The oh first my one god. Was great, though. Yeah, I was. I, I thought that was, was no. No, no, then he said he, like his first shot. He then then rewind. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh my God, hey man, oh, Amar Rashad was a man, man. Hey, Marbury. let's give Amar Rashad his his flowers, man, because he was definitely one of the uh, first basketball um, uh, analysts I mean, that, that we like always, comedy. yeah, that we always watched. It was like Amar Rashad was just that dude, like you know what I mean. And and he had a beautiful wife. We didn't even know he was. He was married. I didn't know he was shot, married bro. to her until Come I was a grown on, ass man. man. Yes. God damn. Y'all so secretive. On, I love man. it. Whatever makes y'all happy. Whatever makes y'all happy. <laughs> but real. you know, and that's that's the crazy part. I want to I gotta speak on this. Let me say this. Uh like love like that, you know what I'm saying? Because they was together and nobody knew. Like nobody knew, which is crazy, and that's 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 the thing about this internet because people put everything out or whatever. But oh, I love you, boo even boo. so, some of that's fake. Yeah, that's and even so, nobody knew, and then it didn't even get to anything because they didn't have uh, social media like that. So it wasn't like, oh, we saw such and such Felicia Rashad and them over there hugged up, kissing, or at dinner, or this or that pictures and all this, or they family, they kids. You know what I'm saying? We didn't see like I only I've never seen none of their kids, but I'm just like, wow, that's. Crazy well, you, how they you just... know what Tyrese said, because Tyrese said that's that's the big problem, and that's sort of where he messed up is putting everything on social media. Right, and he was saying like Sade, who's Sade dating right now? Right, who? Do you know? Of course not. No. No. What about what is Denzel doing right now? He's married. Yeah, but what's he doing? No, you just know he's married no. because right, right, you've right. seen that on TV right. once or whatever, right? Uh, let's go like, like Lotto. 
Give me an example. Lotto. Hi, Lotto. Okay. <laughs> Craig. Hey, Lotto. Hi, Lotto. Craig, Craig, Craig. You, uh, <laughs> yeah. you like Lotto? I think Lotto's a really good rapper, but okay. she's gorgeous. Oh, Lotto's, Lotto's, Lotto's gorgeous. Lotto's great. Okay. Now, let me say Straight this. Straight up. You know, Is she single? Nah. Of course not. That's what I'm speaking on. Oh. Let me get to it. So, listen. <laughs> <laughs> let me get to it. So, Lotto is a, a very, very talented and successful woman right now. Okay. Young lady, woman now. She's a big woman mama. now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Big Lotto. I like when she says you know big mama. And so, you think of it like this. Okay. You think a girl like that, and she always talk about my man this or doing this and doing that, right? Okay. Nobody's seen pictures of her and her dude. Like, you know, out or whatever. You know, to this day and age, the internet no. is all this and all that, right? Okay. Now, true enough, there's nothing wrong with having your relationship secretive. Nothing wrong with keeping it private. I'm all for that. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is that when you're in love with somebody and you're with somebody, it's certain things that you just can't stop them to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you don't want our relationship out and open, but I love you. So how not? Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't be seen with you. We can't go nowhere. Like, there's no way nobody knows. Like, how nobody knows? Like, are you you guys just see each other in the hotel room or at the house. Y'all secret cars. You take a picture over here. I take a picture over here. You and like we in groups, but you over here. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? To I where mean, they there's gotta, ways like that. That's what I'm saying. That's how it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's like, why if the, if the love is like that, bro? I cannot. I couldn't because survive of that. Of hate and past. But that's what I'm saying. I couldn't survive that because like I I would want I would want the world to know I love you. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? I understand the backlash okay, and so, stuff. So the wait, world. But wait. What if, and I don't want, we're not, I'm not talking about Lotto and her relationship, mm. right? So let's throw them out. Let's go to somebody else. You have someone who's, let's say, super famous. Right. And they get with you, Johnny. Right. right? Now, of course, you want the world to know. Right, right, right. But maybe. She wouldn't want, right? Well, not to say just because you, but maybe because she wants to seem sort of available for the fan base. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a money move. No, it's, I get that too. But again. You you did put out you're in a relationship. Who? You know what I mean? It's the difference when you say, you're saying you're not. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, oh, okay. you know, it's like a difference. Like your Facebook status. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a difference. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and there's nothing wrong with holding your woman down while she doing her thing. And if you feel like, okay, and you so wanna, have you been searching? You know I mean? Have you been researching? No, no. I'm saying I've been in a relationship. <laughs> no, I've been in a relationship with with a deep girl. Deep dive, deep dive. And uh, uh, she had to. She was like into the entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So hey, you know, I didn't want to. I wasn't tripping on uh, her trying to just put us out there on on her Facebook or anything. You was like in her that, stories you know on you know another account. No, nah, no. That's what I'm saying. See, I wouldn't even. He's I can't even smile. do all that. Like that's that's what I mean too. Like you know, you just you know, that's too much extra to. If you in it, like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I ain't I ain't doing all that. I'm just saying if you with somebody and they're like that, it's kind of hard for you to tell them not to express how they feel about you, how they care about you. That's all I'm saying. Like, it just seems like, how, how can it be that secret that long? Like, you can be like, oh, I've been in, you can get married, whatever. Oh, we got married two years ago. Damn, like, I get that. But to be together as a <laughs> couple, how, as one. How. Well, you see how your shirt and your hat, they got the... Hashtag. Mm -hmm. So you're caught up in it. Like everything you want is this hashtag. Not everybody's thinking like that. I mean, you're literally just promoting like you are the hashtag guy, right? Do you have a TikTok? No. <laughs> Damn, Johnny. You have a TikTok? <laughs> no. Hell no. I don't have a TikTok, sir. You don't have no TikTok. What's your TikTok, Johnny? I don't have one. <laughs> Come on, so let's, help promote let's go. Let's go to no. Uh, <laughs> but I have to, I have to um, just give like a response to that because he did say that. I think is that why you think Martha Stewart has a difficult time finding a man? And she can cook. I think and Martha she can cook. And she cook. And she can lay that bed down. The Come decor on, in there. So you don't, what's going on? You don't think I think with Martha. Martha. <laughs> Martha, Martha ain't, Martha ain't uh, giving some, <laughs> she ain't giving no. Martha look like she hang out, have a good time. She know the best drinks. She with Snoop. Mm -hmm. She done probably hit that thing a couple times. Pause. Oh, man. But that's. That, but she like to enjoy her time. Okay, so let me ask and you And she this. been to jail. She a real one. So let's not say hit or not. 
let's say Martha, would you marry? Relationship. If Deep I, relationship. Serious relationship. If I was that going age. towards marriage. If no, I was no, her no, age no, or no, right no. now. Right now. No way. I can't. There's two different ages for me. Like, she's older than me. Well, I got a mom complex. Okay, well, wait a minute. What did you say about uh, Sama Hayek? Now, granted, she may be a little bit younger than Martha, but... Oh, that was different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was different. <laughs> oh, that was different. <laughs> so what about, so about, so about Miss Hayek? Yep. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Oh, definitely. It's, it's, a, it's a different uh, grass over there, sir. <laughs> oh, like the water that grass. <laughs> The grass is greener over there. Where man. you watering? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Well, yeah, who else you got? Uh, Come on, it's Michael Jackson Amber birthday. Rose. Amber Rose. Amber Rose. Is she no, wait. Can we do the like? We need some fine like hit when you marry, disappear. Oh yes. From okay. that's what it should be like. What is it? Hit marry. Yeah, Dump. but hit is too easy. Okay. Hit That's where we are. We're men. Hit, <laughs> yes. Make it easy. <laughs> no, so yes. So it's probably Why are you trying to make yes it complicated. To, it's going to be a yes, pretty much. So let's go the 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 mouth further by saying, would you put a ring on it? Hey, if she showed me that she can be for the team of Team Rhino mm. and have my back. Okay. So if she I, like, if she if she is fine, like Sam Hayek. But you've seen her in a porno um, with multiple people on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you still marry her? <laughs> what is this dude watching, bro? What is this dude Next watching? Next question. He said, yeah. multi- he said multiple people on a bus. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's uh, something going on right now. On Bang the bus? With the- Bang bus is back? Bang bus? No, there's a soccer player. And oh yeah, 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 okay. What you were telling what, me? What's her name? Is Tina Trump? Is Tina it Tina Trump? Tr- is Tina Trump? Tiana I Trump. Believe, I believe so. Yes. What? Whatever. What, 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 Tiana. Well, would Tiana? you? Would you marry her? No. No. Sorry. Can't do it. I think we have a really fun time, but <laughs> okay. yeah. But no marriages. No marriage. Like you me, I gotta take her to Ema Lynn. <laughs> I gotta take her to my mama. Oh my god! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, oh man, it's hey man, it's tough. Listen, women, I'm my mama? to say this: we know, okay, we know when we want to get married, okay, we know who we want, okay, and we know what you want. We know that you just want uh, some cash. You don't even want the. You know what I mean? Damn, what we about, know. <laughs> I'm trying to look for the people who are just trying, What about peace? Uh, y'all got anybody want peace? Y'all ain't been through it. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, all y'all want is cash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, like, God damn, where the love at? <laughs> Shit. God damn, man. Where the yeah. love? Where is the man, love? You got no cash. Got nothing, to do man. It. Hey, listen, let me tell you. I'm going to give y'all a word of advice. You ask somebody if they love you and they start naming stuff, get rid of them. Because all that stuff that you don't, you stop doing, they ain't going to love you no more. Like I said, man, you can't, you. you can't take a lot of things to heaven. Oh, no. Nah. Well. And, but that, that's just a go show about uh, can we get an American and, and how materialistic we are? Oh. I Tell mean, us about we it. Spoiled, uh, we spoil, bro. We spoil. We spoil. We think we deserve everything. Yes, like, we entitled. You know what I mean? We 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 all that because it it wasn't handed to us. Let's say that it wasn't handed to us. But we just feel like whatever it is, we we deserve it. We deserve a piece of this, piece of that. Like, you well, know. are we yeah. saying men no. and women? Are we talking yeah. women? What, well, it feels it? like this. Well, it feels like you. When you're dating, it's like you're going mm. to this nice ass restaurant and you just sat down and they're already talking about tip. But, oh. but, but, it but, ain't nothing happened yet. But, but, Craig, right? But, Craig, um, if you're sitting there and you're rubbing on your chain, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Materialism. <laughs> Can we talk about America and this yeah. materialism? Yeah, but, that's how it is. Like when we were in chains, this don't come from materialism, this comes from our ancient history and what we was wearing. 
and why we need to wear this on our body. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. so important? Because of who we are. Right. You feel me? That's why this is being worn. That's why it was important when Johnny said, you got to know your history mm. so you don't repeat it in a negative way. Okay. And in this way, it's let me know this is my king stuff because I know my energy comes from the king line. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's Google. We can read it now. You know what I'm saying? In that regard. But when I talk about materialism, it goes to what can you do for me? Who do you know? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. We just met. Why you not trying to take me out and wine and dine me before I come right. over to your house to sleep with you? Wow. Because I'm the prize. Right? It's that stuff. And then like being able to go overseas and travel. There is a different type of mindset. Mm. The women over there. So they want to yeah. take care of you in regards yes. in some ways. And this is not to be on no negative like right, remark right, right. towards my women. I yeah, love all yeah. women, but at the same time, yeah. it's priority when it comes to a certain mentality. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. what is your priority? What's what is like what is your life evolve around? What right. what does what makes sense? Right. And then that's for me, sometimes it goes, there might be educational barriers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the education levels of schools yeah. get you to the different thought processes. Yeah, because I think I they was... teach that. They definitely. Craig, Why? next time you go on a date, take off your damn earrings and that chain. Because that shit is shining in the girl's <laughs> face. <So> I, <laughs> and yeah. she goes, say, you, you're you blinded. Blinded. You're a professional. You're, you're blinded. Right? You're blinded. Right, right, right. right. You're blinded. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, look, man, you got a matching oh, one? Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Well, see, you know, look, 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 look. Just like in the rear of your mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Look, objects can appear closer, right? Then they appear, okay? That's what it means. They can't be caught up in the life of certain things because at the end of the day, I like I ain't even like what Cameron said. Like for real, for real. You come up to me, you down thirty, and you got to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. I know my worth, mm -hmm. and I know what I bring to the table. Right. So it goes in that regard. If you just looking and you see what you just said, man, you, <laughs> man, we got ten minutes. It's about mm -hmm. to be a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Real quick. You feel me? Get him up out of here. Oh, I know what you want. And right. I got something for you. Yeah. And that's how on, that man. energy goes. Easy. But then, like, I'm going to be honest. There's, like, you'll find, you know, like he just said, there's an energy behind it. You feel me? Mm. And then, like, when you get to know somebody, you yeah, know, the yeah. calmness and, and, and all that starts to, like, flow in. So yeah. what are some of these things that the foreign women... Or not foreign women, but women in other countries that you're talking about. Or women in the South, just respect. Or, yes, mm -hmm. Respect. Yeah, it's respect. And not only that, I think they they see more of what their parents went through as well. You know what I'm saying? So they got more of a blueprint as well to show like what they shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk a little, well, in Father, case there's well, some women that are Father. watching this, because when you say, okay, respect, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll but, break but it but down. Let's now. break it down. And, like, mm. is it the softness in voice? Like, is it. Like, give us. No. Like, Let so me tell you what it is. Okay, you go. You want to go first? Yeah. Well, we go attack. Go back get him correct. Get him well, correct. First, I think it would just be the open line of communication, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How we're talking to each other, just that yep. respect factor to where I respect you and I don't want to say anything to like offend you in any type of way. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the rapport just open and genuine. Then, then you'll have just in some regards of like. We'll have certain situations where I feel like I know she'll ultimately respect me because she won't do certain things. Obviously, uh, one, to to say something to get under my skin. Mm -hmm. Two, to be something against me or, or be like, if somebody says something funny, I'm not going to overreact and laugh mm -hmm. and do all that. Mm -hmm. um, I have time where I want to feed you. I want to mm. cook for you. I want to mm. make sure you okay. We have those general conversations. Mm. And then it's the unsafe ones because it goes, like for me, I know my boundaries. And I got like red flags and different mm. things like that. So mm. to have a conversation about these things and that person hears you and feels like they can meet, they can meet those requirements as well as you can meet theirs. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and not only that, like, you know, like for most men, I'm going to say, you know, we... And I say women too, you know, 
they don't like to share stuff and then you throw it back in our face. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, you know, I, I kind of, you know, was vulnerable or I felt close to you to share this with you. Now all of a sudden, you know, you're throwing it back in my yep. face. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, wait a minute. So, which it, it shouldn't be, but you kind of mess it up for the next girl in a sense. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, because it just happens until you that person like, okay, well, I, you know, even though she fucked it up. You know, maybe I could share. She just wasn't the right person I to share yeah. with. But some people don't have that. Like, you know what? You fucked it up for everybody. everybody. I don't give a fuck. Like, you fucked I up for everybody. Yeah, like that's. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like. <laughs> 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 hey, what, what would this song be Man, called? Man, huh? you was an R&B singer. You if was... I was an R&B singer <laughs> and and uh, a girl uh, uh, hurt my feelings. It'd be, uh, what would it be? It'd be like. Uh, I think mine is Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just with the turn back. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. That's a good one, man. I'm going to have to think Summer of something. Rain? Nah, it's going to be, uh, shit, Killing Me Softly or something. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? The Lauren Hill Killing Me Softly, man, because I just feel, because I love her. I'm a Libra. I love her. So it's just like. If I feel like I'm into you, I'm into you. You know what I'm saying? And and once once I'm not into you, I'm done. Like I'm like uh, we like this. When we're done, we're done. Like completely. Like man, 